It's a great day to talk rehab. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Dr. Donald DeFabio and welcome to the office. The theme of this month is the rotator cuff. And we're going to be talking about the four rotator cuff muscles and the common problems that are associated with them and how to target your rehab. Let's start with one of the most common ones, the supraspinatus. Remember, there's four muscles to your rotator cuff. Supraspinatus on the top of the wing bone, infraspinatus on the bottom part of the wing bone, your subscapularis, which is on the inside of the wing bone, and your teres minor, which is kind of to the outside as well. Supraspinatus is the one for today, and that does going out that's also the one that gets pinched under your collarbone. So people that get impingement syndromes, swimmer's shoulder, uh, throwing tendonitis of the shoulder, that's oftentimes a supraspinatus impingement. So let's talk about it. Mike, come on over here, and uh, we're gonna get started with that. Of course, Mike has to say hi to everybody. Say hi, Mike. Hi, everybody. So the supraspinatus, just turn sideways for a second is right in through here, come obliquely. Just right in through here, right along the top of the wing bone. The wing bone's got a spine, a bone in it here, and the supraspinatus is there. Sometimes we have to teach your patient to find the muscle. They just don't know how to isolate it. They don't know how to contract it. I'm really, really excited about the concept of deconstructing movement patterns breaking them down to the weakest common point, then building you back up. And it seems to be extremely effective. For the supraspinatus, the deconstructive movement pattern to find it, is just a little bit of an isometric. The arm just pushes out into something rigid. Could be against a wall, could be against your other hand, anything. It's an isometric because the supraspinatus is an abductor, lifts the arm up like that. So just pushing like that, Two seconds, hold for six seconds, slowly release. That's a nice way to set the supraspinatus. Once you find it, take your CLX band. You can stand on it or wrap one around the foot. Put your hand in it because I like using the loops of the CLX so we can really sometimes use open hand, sometimes use closed hand. Here I want an open hand, and I'll show you why in a moment, okay? And it's just gonna be straight abduction. Bring it up, hold, and go back down. Now, face everybody when you do that, Mike. Watch when he does the abduction. Go up, see how the shoulder stays down? That's what you want, relax. Let's shrug as you come up. Abduct, bad news, you don't want that. You need to set your wing bones down, good, tall, strong posture, then abduct. Always start all of your shoulder exercises from good, tall, strong posture. Watch my video on, uh, uh, exercises for preventing rotator cuff injuries, first thing we talk about is getting you here. So watch that. The next exercise I like is in scaption, which is in the angle of the scapula. So rather than reaching straight out, you're reaching out at about 30 degrees in thumb up or open can position, like if you had a can, okay? Not, that's that's uh, uh, closed can, that's open can, all right? And come up, right to 90 degrees, keeping the shoulder Blade set on the rib cage, very important, and go down. Come up, hold for two seconds, and slowly go back down. Now let's say you're having discomfort. Let's say you're having pain. You have a couple of options, all right? Number one, let's go straight abduction, but just go up to just below the point of pain, all right? That's option A, hold and slowly go back down. The other option is come around the other way, come around the top, Go into abduction and slowly do an eccentric through the pain. The other way you can do an eccentric, pick up the band, just go up and then load it and do an eccentric. So bring it up and then here, just load it. No, 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 just load it from here. Look with that hand, bring it up, load it, and then slowly bring it. Eccentric loading is great for any tendinosis. Always make sure your wing bones set. That's how you can work around the pain. And then also do it in scaption in the angle of the scapula with an uh, open can position, same thing. You can bring it up, load it, and then do an eccentric and slowly go down. And you can also move up to the point of pain or around it. 
oh, I can't go here, but I can go over here. So come around to it, load it, and work it that way. Always tall, strong posture. Remember, when the humerus, the arm bone, rolls forward, it's going to pinch that supraspinatus. Great, thanks a lot, Mike. It's going to pinch that supraspinatus. That's going to impact that tendon as it goes into the arm. So when it goes like this, it gets caught underneath the collarbone. That's called the critical zone. Reset the scapula, it opens it up, strengthen all the muscles that maintain that, then you can work the supraspinatus, get some fresh blood in there, get some strength in there, and then you'll have really strong supraspinatus muscles. Muscle one of your rotator cuff. I'm Dr. Donald DeFabio. Thanks for tuning in.